Hi, this is Rob uh, from Medial. Um, what I'm going to do today is do a full run through of how the uh, Media Lecture product works when launched through uh, the Medial portal itself. Media Lecture can also be launched through LMS systems like Moodle, Blackboard and Canvas. And we've got other videos on those on our website, which I'll share the link to a little bit later. So first of all, you need to log into Medial, which I've already done. Um, so I'm logged into my user account here. It's really, really simple. All you have to do is uh, click on the button to uh, record your screen. This then launches uh, the Media Lecture app. So you've got lots of different options here for things to do. You can record your screen, your screen and webcam, your webcam, or just your voice. We've also got um, a library of content that you can store on your machine. And we've also got some settings and some help. In the settings, we've got um, the location that you want to um, store your content. We, you can select the webcam that you'd want to record. You can select the microphone you want to record. And you can also select the uh, recording quality that you want to record your uh, camera or the screen recording quality in terms of 720p or 1080p. You can also choose whether you want to delete your recording off of the disk after upload. So to note here, I'm actually running the Mac version of the product in this demo, but there's a PC version as well, and it looks very, very similar and has similar, uh, almost identical functionality. So now we'll go ahead and record our screen, webcam, and our voice. First, we select the uh, screen that we want to record. So in my case, I only have one screen, but you can record from dual monitors, or you can select an area of the screen to record. Next, it counts me down, and I now have my webcam that I can move the location of the webcam to any part of the screen. I can make it bigger or smaller as well. I'm going to put it here at the uh, bottom of my screen. So the next thing that most users would do is they would launch another application. So for example, PowerPoint. And they might want to show a slide deck here in the same way that I'm doing. We have some cool things here in that we can actually uh, draw on the screen. So we have a lot of drawing tools here. So we go in here, we can highlight a particular item. We can point at a particular item. We can even do annotations over the screen if we so wish. Once we've decided that we're okay with our recording, uh, we click on done. At this point, we then have the ability to edit our media content. So we have the options to trim or chop. Trim essentially means that we can trim top and tail the video to the points that we want. We can chop which means we can take a small section out of the middle of the video. We could also make our content look very professional by adding our own, our own title or credit slides. And you can actually add a custom um, title or credit slide as well as the inbuilt ones within the software. Once we've checked out our content, we click on done. We add some metadata. Once it's complete, we simply click on the link to play the video. The important thing to note here is, is that the content is instantly available because all of the transcoding of the video went on while we were recording the video. So the content is simply uploaded at the end of the process and there is no wait time whatsoever. So as a refresher, the key benefits of Media Lecture are that you can record your screen, webcam, your voice, or a combination of all three. It has built-in editing tools allowing you to trim, chop, and add custom titles and credits. The software is also completely and seamlessly integrated with your LMS, whether that be Blackboard, Moodle, or Canvas. If you'd like to see videos of those three integrations in greater detail, you can go to our website at the link indicated here.